let's take a quick look at how to use MySQL from uh, on Max. Okay, so to do that, first of all, you have to start the MySQL server. And to do that, I'm going to go into my uh, launcher. And in the launcher, I see an icon here for MAMP, M-A-M-P. This is the program you already installed. If you haven't done so, go back to the instructions for the week of uh, August 31 and install the database. Once you do that, I can start MAMP. Now notice that there's another icon for MAMP Pro on your uh, computer also. We don't need that. We only want MAMP because MAMP Pro is a paid version that we really don't need for this course. So we're using the free version. So I start MAMP and it'll take a little bit of time to get started. Now once you start MAMP, it has to do a few things. See right now MAMP is still not ready. Once it becomes ready, it'll go to your uh, browser and open up this. So the one moment you see this window, you know that all is well. MAMP was properly installed. Switch back to your MAMP window here. Okay. And then here, just quickly click on preferences. Okay. So when you see preferences, go to the ports and just note down the port number here. It says MySQL port 8889. Okay. That should be the same for you as well. Okay. But if it's not, just note down the number out there. It's a four digit number that you will note down. Okay, so now that that is done, your SQL server, uh, your MySQL is running properly. And all we need to do is to connect to MySQL using SQL Pro. In fact, if you go to this browser window that you have, you can also connect to MySQL using this thing called PHP MyAdmin, in which case you can actually connect to it directly from the browser itself. You can do that, but I'll show you how to use SQL Pro because that makes things a little bit more uh, easy. Okay, so now your MySQL server is running. We again want to go back to our launcher. And in the launcher, if you followed the instructions on week one, you should also see this icon for SQL Pro. Okay, so let's start that application. Okay, now SQL Pro, uh, in fact, let me quit SQL Pro. It was already running. I want to show you afresh how to start SQL Pro. Okay, so I'm starting SQL Pro. It comes up with this window. Okay, host 127.001, leave it alone. Okay, uh, username is root. The password, if it's blank, also enter it as root. Also enter it as root. And in the port, Enter the port number that you noted earlier. It is probably 8889. Okay, so enter the port number and then say connect. So now your SQL Pro is connected to, to your MySQL database. Henceforth, we'll do all the work from inside a SQL Pro. Okay, now SQL Pro, it says choose a database. Uh, so what we are saying here is that in your MySQL server, there are lots of databases already existing, right? Even though you just installed the product, it actually has a, a couple of trial databases. So before you start working in SQL Pro, you need to select the database to work on. Now, before you can start working with a database in MySQL, you first have to have the necessary tables and data in that database. Okay. Now, of course, what you can do is to create everything from scratch within the database. But most of the time, what you'll do is you'll use one of the database files that I give you and directly load that file into your database schema. Okay. So let's first see the process of how to load a file into your database. Okay. To do that, just click on this choose database. Uh, in fact, you will not see all the databases that are listed here. Okay. Because I've been working with this for some time. Uh, so when you see the list of databases, just click on any database. It doesn't matter which one you click. Let's say I click on MySQL. Okay. And don't do anything with it. Just leave it there. So you've selected a database. Now what you can do is do file import. Okay. So now you're going to import the database for whatever purpose. Okay. Now, if you remember in Blackboard, uh, let me quickly go over to Blackboard here. Okay, you look here, you see import file for supplier parts example. 
Okay, so this was the file that was used. This was the database that was used in all the uh, examples that I'm giving in the lecture. So I'll show you how to import that database. Okay, so we go into this and I was actually in the SQL Pro file uh, import dialog and that database file I have got, called it as spj new.sql. In fact, when you download and save it, you will get exactly the same file. So go to that file and then say open and see that me, my, my uh, you know, uh, uh, SQL Pro has imported all the tables. So now you see that the database is spj new. The tables are, you know, parts, projects, shipments, suppliers. So you can click on a particular table and then you can look at the structure of the table, meaning what are the names of the columns, part number, part name, color, weight, city, or you can look at the contents of the database, right, of the table. So you're seeing all the actual data inside the tables and we'll not be looking at relations, triggers, etc. for now. Okay, so this is how you load a database. In fact, now when you drop down the list for databases, you will see that this new database, SPJ new, is part of your, uh, you know, is part of your server. It's inside the MySQL database. So now you can go over into query, and then you can start typing SQL queries. So for example, I can say, select star from parts. Okay, so and then when I say run current, it shows the results. Okay, so I can say select uh, for example, I can say select part number, color from parts. You know, I don't have to type it all in one line. I can say part number, color, and then type from parts in the second line. Uh, and then I say run the query, and you get the results. Okay, so this is a simple process of loading, of starting up your MySQL on a Mac, and then starting up SQL Pro, then connecting SQL Pro to that MySQL that you have started already, and then importing a database file into your MySQL database through SQL Pro, and then you can start typing SQL to, uh, on top of that database. Okay, this is a very simple process. Now for the assignment, I have asked you to load a file called university.sql. Okay, so to do that, again, you can do the same thing. You will say file, import, and it goes to the same place, it remembers where, and then I just say university.sql, and say open, and it loaded that. So now I can see the uh, database. The database is, happens to be called college. You know, it doesn't matter. The name of the database is, was, is different from the name of the file in this particular case. Okay, and then you can take a look at, uh, you know, the structure of the tables. So for example, you can look at the content. Okay, and then you can look at the instructors, you can look at the sections, etc., etc. Okay, so that's the uh, simple process of using MySQL on a Mac.